people do that all the time and call themselves experts and pass themselves off as experts, uh, whatever, you know, you decide. Decide for yourself. Uh, listener call in line tonight, 260-356-2611. Uh, like I said, I've been off the last couple of weeks. Just needed a break. And it was good to get away. And, and you know, it's in the middle of summer and now chaos is starting with school again. And, you know, a lot of you have kids and it's that time to start thinking about getting ready for school again. And I don't know if, if your kids are in, in sports like mine are. I've got, uh, so let's see, two in football and one in cheerleading. And next year I'll have three in football. And it's just a... <laughs> silly something it gets chaos around this time of the year and so i'm a little bit behind on, on news and what's going on i didn't even keep up with that while i was taking a break i didn't want to hear anything i didn't want to hear what was going on i mean the world's going to go to hell in the handbasket if i'm here or not you know <laughs> i'm working 24 7 or not these things are going to happen and everything that that could happen possibly going to happen in the future is, is is on my website i mean it's in the articles i've written it's in the articles i've posted it's I've got, you know, 19 websites of information uh, and people stumbling on them every day, the Lord leading people to these websites every day, uh, and just clearly uh, those who come against me on the attack, uh, and that, that's always going to happen. I don't even pay attention to it, but I think the people around me get more affected by it than I do. Uh, I clearly could just brush it off and walk away. I don't even pay attention to it. Uh, but I, I do have listeners who will ask for clarifications on things. And, you know, uh, and so this is one of those times I'll just spend some time clarifying things. I'm not going to, I don't keep doing, you know, keep doing this and keeping it up because it's not worth my time. Uh, I don't have to defend myself. Ask the Lord who I am, you know, and, and, and clearly uh, you're going to have to understand that, you know, when the Lord stands somebody up, and I'm not saying things that tickle other people's ears, and I do go against a lot of common views because they're wrong. <laughs> they're not right. They're wrong. The church has been deceived and in deception for thousands of years, hundreds of years. Uh, that's how we have over 56,000 denominations alone uh, just with the Protestant denominations because of all the disagreements over doctrinal issues. It happens. Uh, a lot of things happening this week with Prophet Yeehaw traveling the nation. Uh, I, get it. I am here, and it says a warning to go out to coast to coast listeners about to the up and coming spokesperson Benjamin Crum. Last time people listened to him, people were complaining of loud ringing in their head, and some were hospitalized. Uh, you might want to warn your listeners. Uh, so, yeah, I'll put that out there. I guess, uh, I don't know what's going on over at Coast to Coast, but if he's going to have Benjamin Krem on his show, and I've stated this before, folks, don't listen to these people. Don't even watch them on TV. Uh, they do have a lot of mind control uh, capability. I've seen it in the Bible codes plenty of times. I've been warned about it by the Lord himself not to watch these people. And uh, so I guess that's what's happening. A lot of people who listened to one of Benjamin Crumb's interviews on Coast to Coast, a lot of people got uh, hospitalized from ringing in their heads. And it's going to get worse. Uh, that's just a, okay, icing on the cake. Not even that. It's probably just a piece of the cake and ingredient because the stuff isn't going away. It's going to build and build and build and build. It's getting a lot bigger. We're getting closer uh, to a lot of things to start happening. Tonight I wanted to go over Matthew 24. You know, I didn't really know what I wanted to do tonight on the show. And certainly didn't want to think about it while I was on break. <laughs> and so uh, I started thinking about it today. And Matthew 24 just kept coming to my mind. And so that's what I'm going to talk about tonight. If not the serpent seed line, if I get time, uh, the first or second hour, uh, I'll go over the serpent seed line doctrine. A lot of people confused over what that is. Uh, and so uh, a lot of clarification. You can also read this on my website. I have it on my website. Uh, and it's in one of my books as well. I have two books out now. Uh, Bible Codes Revealed, The Coming UFO Invasion, uh, which came out uh, earlier in the year. And uh, now I have out Aliens on the Internet, which is a book that just came out a couple months ago, maybe one or two months ago. So I have two books out. And a little bit of info, and all of the info 
that is in those books are articles on my websites, and so you can just read it for free on my website. So you can just go through and read those articles I have. Uh, you know, there's, there's a lot of people, some I know, some believing that this prophet uh, calls himself Prophet Yahweh. I just call him Prophet Yeho. Uh, that he could be Maitreya, Maitreya. And it's a possibility because whenever they throw a card down and, and you think you know what they're doing, they change the cards, they change the deck, they get a new one. Uh, <laughs> but the standard quote is always going to come about. I mean, these things, these beasts are coming. They call themselves Christ. They call themselves uh, Sananda Emmanuel uh, is the one that looks like Jesus of the Bible. Maitreya is supposed to be a world teacher. Saint Germain is supposed to establish uh, the a new economic system here um, in the world. Uh, we call it Nasera. Uh And so, you know, this is a lot of things I've spent all this time, all these the past year, week in and week out, on my website and on these radio shows, warning you of what's coming. And you know, a lot of people listening to the archives of these shows, getting about fifty to a hundred thousand people a month listening to the archives of these radio shows, and this is global. This isn't just the United States. In fact, my biggest audiences are getting to be overseas. Uh, it's just outstanding. It's spectacular. You know, three or four or five years ago, the Lord said, "You will speak to the nations," and the nations are definitely listening. And as we get towards the last days. Uh, the attacks are just going to get greater because of that, and and I'm used to it. Uh, you just sometimes you just need to walk away, and and so that's uh, basically what I've done the last couple of weeks. I'm behind on emails. Try to get caught up on those. Appreciate from hearing from a lot of you. Uh, a lot of support um, outside all the just what I call the jerk emails. I get those as well, and I read about a sentence of them and just delete them. Uh, but uh, you know, the moderators of my list have been kept busy. Um, and you know what? Uh, I, I do appreciate them. I thank them for standing up. Uh, just when I need to sit down, they can stand up and, and take over things. And, and so I appreciate that, you know. And uh might have a transcriber for these shows. In the last radio show, I I, uh, I was looking for, made an announcement on, on getting someone to transcribe these radio shows for the deaf crowd. I'm uh, hearing a lot from them. It's a huge deaf population on the Internet, and they want to know what's being said during these radio shows. There's no transcription of them, and I certainly don't have time to go through and, and type out all of these shows. So if anybody else, if you're more than a one-hand pecker on the keyboard and it wouldn't take you a week to do it, <laughs> yeah, even then, you know, whoever wants to stand up and be a transcriber for these shows, it would be appreciated. Otherwise, uh, you know, I'm just, I can't, I can't offer that. I mean, I can't possibly take on anything more myself. Uh, I have not done any transcribing for uh, speech reversals lately. I think the last one I did was, was George Bush and his Supreme Court announcement, and that's on the website hiddenspeech.com. You can hear it there. Probably get more into that this week. Uh, Fox News always has some, but the thing about a lot of these clips on the internet is that they're short, and I need longer clips. I need to be able to, to to sit and go through. I mean, the longer somebody talks, the more reversals they're going to give, obviously. And so, uh, I just need longer clips. And uh, so, a lot of you, uh, you can send me links to uh, clips on the internet of of people that you're interested in hearing. Uh, if anything's being said in reverse. And I'm more interested in stuff happening now, stuff that's being recorded now uh, from the Pentagon, from the White House, uh, because that's kind of the focus and direction I'm heading into right now. Uh, what they're saying, Tony Blair, George Bush, Dick Cheney, uh, you know, these people are in the news all the time. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you know, presidential leaders, leaders of countries, uh, and military leaders, especially on the war from Iraq, and these are the ones that that, uh, that are at the top of the game with the Illuminati. And so these are the ones we want to target. These are the ones that have the information. These are the ones that say things that I don't realize they're saying in reverse and expose their agenda. And so definitely want to keep on on, on target and track of these people, uh, the Matria crowd and the New Age crowd, uh, this Benjamin Krem and all these, I mean, they're, they're just, you know, they're waiting in the wings for the.